Welcome back to the 2023 PDGA United States Women's Disc Golf Championship. We are in Burlington, North Carolina. This is a PDGA major and coverage is brought to you by Skyheiser Productions. I'm Jennifer Allen. I'm Grant Zellner with the concluding nine holes of a tight battle. Kayla Hess out to a fairly comfortable lead, but I don't know how much is comfortable here at Wellspring. Shelby, Bertie Cohen, Clara Watson, tightly packed for second. Don't count out Ava Meyer, who is being pursued by those on the chase card. It's been an action-packed front nine. I expect the back nine to deliver today. Yeah, here we're going to start it out. Hole number 10. This is a 180-foot par 3 winding through all these trees that are just kind of scattered on this hole. Clara opening things up. Hits the initial gap perfectly, but just needs a little more understable of a disc. That tree's gonna help her out a little bit and kick her just a tad bit closer inside circle one. Here's your leader, Kayla Hess, a Pennsylvania native. And that held the line, just missing the koozie and landing about 28 feet or so. This is Shelby Cowan out of Alabama. Ooh, just a hair early, catches that first big tree on the left side. Hopefully that still leaves her a way to pitch back out. These distances are short, so you can usually save par if you've got to look. I got through. Great drive by Ava, about 25 feet away. Well, I don't know, these little legs are short, but I think I would try to stretch out um, so she could have missed that tree. This is left for par. And in that front nine, Shelby was showing us just what an incredible putter she is. This is Kayla for birdie and nails it. Show off. Continues just to open up her lead. Claire Watson, a birdie of her own. And Missouri's Ava Meyer. Solid. Hole number 11, 235 feet. This par three over a creek and then back uphill. So many trees inside the circle here at Wellspring. Clara Watson leading the way. Hits it clean and stays perfectly just inside the circle. Kayla Hess now. The lead is nine at the moment. Oh. And she might make a 10. That's a beautiful drive, almost just inside bullseye. See if Ava can follow. Just slightly different so way to the basket. Well That's going to finish just a hair left. Shelby Cowan. Oh. 
turns it pretty hard, really forcing it to the right and gets a big kick back, just a hair left of center. Ava putting first. Big birdie putt has the height and just swings it just a hair to the right side. Tap in par. Oh. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Another great bid. Clara putting. She's back by eight. I think I misspoke that the lead was nine. Was eight, in fact, and now just seven, at least for the moment. I trusted your math there, Grant. I didn't even look, but here's another birdie <laughs> by Kayla. So that puts her 10 now over Shelby. You, were you like guessing these, you were doing the math ahead of yourself? I there was or a little like bit. That? I'm looking at Shelby and Claire <laughs> and they're going back and forth and back and forth in that second spot. I'm wondering which one of them may put some more pressure on Kayla. Well, talk about pressure. Look at this T. This is hole 12, 200 feet downhill through a very narrow gap. And you have two more huge guardian trees <laughs> to find the basket on the left side. So kind of a, a little bit of a spike hyzer again, the downhill slope, but if you put the angle on it and Clara hits it, perfect. Oh, wow. Ooh, such a beautiful drive. Even Plinko's between those two guardian trees. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, I've said a lot of finishing shots to the right, but we've had several spike hyzers as well. So kind of favoring, you know, making these players be able to, to make the disc finish to either side. Ava makes it around that first big tree, unfortunately catches up just a hair outside circle one down the hill. Makes it past, going right by the basket. Clara's gonna, or sorry, Shelby's gonna have a great look for Birdie. Here's Ava. So much going on. Jen, with all of these ace runs, and this is just the FJ15 division we're talking about, can you Ooh. believe there was only one ace <laughs> through the course no, of the week? No, because this course was so short and it's just such a fun course. That, I feel like these are the types of courses that you really see several aces, um, but it's, it's, look at the lines. I mean, they're so tight. There was only a few ace run looks and holes that you could even attempt it on the longer regulator course. And Cedar Rock had several as well, but just not as many as Wellsprings. Three birdies in a par and we move on to the 13th. Just 150 feet, a sharply bending hole to the right. Boy, they make great use of that creek, which is playing as casual, but it's still something of an obstacle. They make great use of that through this wellspring course. Yeah, a lot of elevation changes that you don't typically really feel or see um, on drone footage. Claire's gonna be just outside circle one in that little ditch, but she went long. Nice touch. Heisering off there to the left side. Just down. A lot more people on the course today. Mm -hmm. All these, you know, spectators coming out to support all divisions. <laughs> Almost identical spot there. Let's see if Ava can get it just a little bit closer. Pulls it a little wider. That should help with the distance, but unfortunately it catches up. She's going to be on the, at least the level ground with the basket. She did not land in that little ditch. Jump putt. Ooh, with a look. Your leader, Kayla. And that's a big downhill putt that she doesn't want anything to do with. Very smart decision with the lead that she has. Just not worth it. 
And that's where I was saying before in the front nine, you can really feel the professionalism and, and knowledge of these young players, which is so fun to watch and solid putting. We're going to tap in these pars. Moving We're on. Winding down. Yeah, let's let's go to 14. 14 is a 215 foot par three, winding and snaking its way through these narrow little gaps again. Only one little guardian tree in front of it, but it, it has its army out in front <laughs> before we get up to the green. A little bit more open though than some of the holes, but Clara unfortunately catches that one big solid tree. Kayla snagging one on the left side, kicks her deep right. There it is. Yep, Shelby got it. And parks it. Beautiful drive. VIP parking for Shelby Cowan, now Ava Meyer. Nope. Just a hair off the line, and that's something you'll find in the woods. If you're a hair off, you're going to get a bad kick, but sometimes if you just completely miss your line, you find a new one. Ava getting about 20, 25 feet. And Kayla was deep in the rough. She still has some work to do to save par. Clara windmilling that disc back to the left and gets it to listen just a little bit. She'll have a putt to save par. Mm. There we go, though. At least she's right up there. You could tell how deep and in the rough she was. She had a lot of power on that shot, even though she wasn't super far away. Nice Solid par save by Ava. Same for Clara. Those are great par saves. This was a tough little hole. But they are almost out of the woods. <laughs> Literally, in this case. Yeah. Big swing here, Shelby, with Boom. the birdie. Boom, look at that. Just a reach out. Those feel great. Kayla with the double bogey, so things getting a little bit interesting here with just four to play. The 15th is a 210 foot par three. Moving its way back into the left. And one of the things I'm noticing here, Jennifer, is these holes, while it sounds verbally like we're describing the same thing over and over, there's some real variety going on here. Yeah, a lot of different, very small technical lines. Yep, and she knew that that was just a hair late. Clara suddenly finds herself back Ooh, within six and of now Kayla. we have it a little bit early release. So we have one late, one early. Let's see if Ava can nail it. She looks to be setting up a little bit more of the turnover line, going for that wider gap on the left. She's had some, yeah, she did. She's had some beautiful fading shots in the previous holes. That one almost making it all the way up there. It's Kayla looking to bounce back yeah. from a double bogey. And she's taking Ava's line. She looked like she thought that was maybe a little more successful and almost as well, probably about 50 feet out. To Clara, her second. Yeah, thankfully she made it back to the middle of the fairway. Gonna have a little bit to do, but she she might have a look from there. 
And Shelby might just throw this in, setting up the forehand. Ooh, great run. Kayla's second. Hair long and strong, but she gets some help from that little bit of rough at the back. Oh. Ava catches the branch right when she releases. She's still about circle's edge. She's shown some great putting though. We'll see if she can save par. Wow. And Clara bunches it out of the woods. Beautiful par save. Ava just trying to kind of wind between those trees. And that's going to give up one stroke. And she had someone on the chase card really pushing her. So we'll see how that ends as well. So a couple more pars and we have still a little bit of a lead. This is 16, 195 feet. Par three, our last wooded shot and hole curving back to the left. Again, sloping very hard uh, greens here, but you can at least create, look, there's the basket. You can actually see it this <laughs> hole. What a gift at from least, the course yeah. here at Wellspring. Yeah, it's like, hey, hold on. There's the light at the end of the tunnel. Good touch, just a little too stable, finishing on that left side rough. That was smooth and low. Ooh. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Watch out, catch cam. <laughs> Coming in hot, running right by the basket that was Gosh, that would have been that two aces in a major. How cool would that have been? And Ava going pretty long over by the next tee over there. Looks about 45 feet or so. Wow, that looks so good. Just a hair short from Claire. This is Ava's putt back. Big uphill putt. That's hard. That was deep down in there with an uphill putt. That was a good run, though. Yet again, huge par saving putt. These girls are amazing. Top putters in the FPO field like Owen Scoggins, Missy Gannon, and others are going to have company in the very near future. There's no <laughs> doubt about that. I agree. That. I agree. These kids have been so fun to watch this week. So many talented players. I mean, from we're talking FJ10 all the way up to FA1. These FA1 players, Grant, this week, they could have played in these divisions. Such talented players coming up in the future. Yeah, there was actually no FJ18 division at this major, simply because players that might have qualified for that division elected to play FA1. And finished very well. We are out in the open. Everybody stretch, do a couple of burpees or whatever it takes to get loosened up <laughs> because we've got a 600 foot par five coming your way wide open spaces relatively speaking not only that but downhill to a basket perched right on the edge of a little bit of a creek area players are going to get to open up for at least their first shot maybe their first two yeah, we've seen a lot of eagles on the 17th this week. This is our only hole with OB Pond there on the right side that sometimes has came into play. But remember, like we just mentioned, this is FJ10 all the way up to FP, FP75. So a lot of levels and skills playing this course. So par five 
gives, you know, a lot of, of room to try to make shots, make birdies, and maybe eagles. Huge power. Look at these drives. Some of them trickling down to that left side. I'm sure it feels nice to put a thinner rimmed disc in the hand after throwing <laughs> <laughs> all the shots they've had to do in the woods. Ava Meyer working herself the rest Ooh, of the like way around the corner. It. She lined that up perfectly, just threw it a hair too strong, so she'll have a pitch back out for still her her birdie look. Eagle. I mean, these these girls are getting down here in two, Grant, and passing it. <laughs> Shelby, a little standstill. Yeah, that one was le released just a little early, so hysering off on the left side, but she's up on top where her other card mates have went a little bit long down in that dry creek. This is, a uh, I'm sorry, Kayla's approach. Looks good. Just over the basket, going about maybe 18 feet away. Ava, the first to putt off oh. the rim. Sit down. There we go. Now, Clara. Those are going to be tap ins. Oh, oh splashing out for the eagle. No. Isn't that fun though to at least have a good putt at them? All these girls are going to be able to tap these out for birdie. And given the challenges of the day here at Wellspring, I'd say this is one of the most well earned star frames I've ever seen. With a legacy dating back to 2001, Sun King Discs has been instrumental in advancing disc golf across Florida, the U.S., and beyond, partnering with and hosting over 500 events, including the famous Throw Down the Mountain. We are dedicated to bringing joy to players from all walks of life. Explore our extensive disc selection at sunkingdiscs.com and enjoy free shipping on orders of $50 or more. Sun King Discs, believe in a better way. Here we are, hole 18, final round. We are going to crown a new major champion after 326 feet par four. This shot, I really like it. It's a, a straight shot. If you don't worry about trying to make the shot finish to the right, you're gonna have a look for birdie. So just focusing on a nice straight shot just like Shelby is showing us. Almost punching through. She'll have that look for Eagle again. Shelby just one back of Clara. Here's Clara's drive. She wanted that to turn just a little bit more. She started it off on the left side of the fairway. It's going to finish straight. So she's going to have a look across that little opening now down there at the bottom of the fairway that looks nice and clean from kayla a little too much and a little too a skip ground play over on the left side pop and power from ava Gets, again, a lot of ground play. Big skip deep on the left. Round two, I did some coverage of this course, and there was a lot of rain, and that creek had water in it and almost a lost disc. Solid bid there from Clara. Now your leader. 
And you just pitch this out. No, she runs it. <laughs> thought she was going to lay that up for the tap-in win. She is wanting one more stroke. Beautiful putting. That is a huge eagle for Shelby. How great does that feel to finish out such a long week? Great job. And um, that's going to give her the stroke, but boom, just like that. Clara gets one too, so they are tied, now sitting in second. Ava Meyer managed to distance herself from those on the chase card for a solid top four finish. And now, Kayla Hess. What an amazing week. You've done it. Great job, Kayla. So much excitement. The only hole in Ladies one. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present to you 2023 FJ15 champion, Kayla Hess. Congratulations. And Jennifer, getting handed a trophy by a member of the Wallace family. That was Chuck Wallace. He's um, mom and old man Wallace's son. Before, but thank you, everyone that sent me a good message, everyone that I've talked to this weekend and wished me good luck. Um, this one was really special, and I really wanted to win it. And I'm happy that I was able to persevere through the four rounds. Thank you to my competitors. You guys were great all weekend. I love all my cards were great. And yeah, thank you, everyone. <laughs> Jennifer, we're even yeah. well versed in our speech giving. Yeah, this U.S. Women's Championship is going to be one that none of us will forget. It was so special. Awesome job by everyone who was out here competing. Here's the final look. Kayla Hess. Over the duo of Clara Watson and Shelby Birdie Cohen. Shout out to that middle name. Ava Meyer and Aubrey Terry rounding out the top five. A great showing by everybody here in Burlington, North Carolina. That'll do it for the FJ15 division at this year's edition of the U.S. Women's Disc Golf Championships.